Hey gang, Math 6997, spring 2022, right? Uh, I wanted to post a uh, brief video. In fact, I have my phone set for five minutes. Uh, sometimes I have a, I can have an intent of having a video for five minutes and it turn out to be 50 minutes. So I want to keep this one about four to five minutes. I just want to go over uh, a couple of things about the way the class is presented on Blackboard. Uh, let's put it in context first with 6996, 6997, 6998. I think 6997 is the most challenging class, primarily because uh, you write the lit review. And lit review can be uh, uh, kind of a pain, uh, to be honest. But again, it's an important part of the research process. Uh, 6996 had its struggles without question, uh, nailing down a topic. Uh, getting uh, IRB approval, uh, some of those things are extremely challenging. The one takeaway from 6996 that I want to inject into 6997 as, uh, as quickly and as forcefully, I guess, as possible, uh, is uh, I felt I had 29 of you. I felt like uh, I was very pleased with uh, about 25 or 26, but I felt the two or three of you um, uh, I think a couple times forgot you were even taking a class. So uh, I hope we can improve on that in 6997. Uh, check in a couple of times throughout the week. Uh, go to announcements or better yet, just uh, have the announcements forwarded to the email account that you use or just check your Shawnee State University uh, email account. Uh, and I'll always send the announcements there. So I just need you to stay a little bit more active, uh, at least most of you, but or a few of you. Most of you did an excellent job in uh, 6996. So how's the class presented? Uh, first of all, if we go to the syllabus, uh, you'll see that I don't, I don't have it where it downloads. Uh, if you want to download, just go to start here. There'll be a link to download the syllabus. There's really not a lot of stuff here that in the day-to-day -day operation of the class, the delivery of the class that you need. Uh, but, um, you know, when you get down to the, uh, timeline and due dates, notice that everything is kind of generically presented. It's kind of easy the first week to know what the first Sunday is, right? Cause classes begin on Monday. So the first Sunday is the, uh, Sunday after the first Monday, but it gets a little confusing down here. You know, what's the 11th Sunday. So to make that a little bit clearer, what I've done is I've, uh, added a section here of timeline and due dates. So for lesson one, if you click that, you'll see that we have specific dates for this class. Now, a couple of things I think that I think the discussion forum post, the you know the instructional videos, all that's pretty clear. But I want to uh, okay, well that should be E and F. I want to explain uh, in a little bit more detail E and F. Connect with Dr. Darbro via Blackboard Collaborate or email. I don't know what you're going to use, uh, need. And you could even add into that, connect with me via phone. But somewhere <clears throat> around January 31st to February 3rd, it is your responsibility to connect with me and say, okay, I think things are going well. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Let's just handle this via email. Or you might say, I'm really struggling. Uh, let's set up a Blackboard Collaborate session or a phone call so we can just discuss this a little bit more in detail. You may even say, well, I think we're doing, I'm doing fine. An email is fine. And I might say, no, nah, I, I think we need to meet with the Blackboard Collaborate session. So uh, just depending on where you are, uh, you know, we'll meet uh, uh, accordingly. Again, it's your responsibility to reach out to me uh, January 31st to February 3rd and let me know uh, to, to provide an update. Uh, approval of Chapter 1, uh, Tuesday, February the 8th. <laughs> Check an ounce of common sense here. I can't approve your final Chapter 1 or your final version of Chapter 1 if you submit it on uh, February 8th. Uh, I need uh, probably, uh, I would say, 8 to 10 days um, before then. So I think your chapter one should get to me somewhere around uh, the end of January, 1st of February. That way I can read it, <clears throat> return it to you with uh, suggestions for improvement or edits, or I may just say, hey, this looks great. Uh, move on to chapter two. 
So I need a little bit of, uh, dang on it, my time timer just went off. So I'm not going to be able to get this in five minutes. Uh, so those are a few uh, things I want to point out in lesson one. Uh, the discussion forum post, um, please introduce yourself. Uh, more about that in just a second. Uh, but I want you to introduce yourself, even if it's a little redundant. Um, but these things aren't, discussion forum po posts aren't really geared toward aligning with a, uh, a learning objective. What they are intended to do is just kind of keep you on the right track and get you in a right frame of mind in uh, conducting your research and writing up uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the manuscript. Now, around week uh, discussion forum post number three, which is around week three, you'll see that you're going to uh, be assigned a peer research partner. Now, <clears throat> I would prefer that you choose someone to work with. And the reason that the introduction is so important. So if you see someone there that's uh, that you think, hey, that'd be a pretty cool person to work with, or this person's doing something very similar to what I'm doing, uh, shoot them an email and ask them if they want to work uh, together. <clears throat> if you don't find anyone, then... Um, of uh, the people who are left, I will pair you up. Uh, I, I, this was uh, a part that was added to the uh, course by my instructional design team. And I'll tell you, I didn't like it at first. And my students from last year's class didn't like it at first. Then in the end, the, uh, uh, the, the student uh, uh, evaluations <clears throat> they said one of the highlights of the class was having someone to go to who was in a similar position as them, having that research peer partner, research partner that uh, they could uh, uh, talk to about their work. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sliding the responsibility here, or maybe I am. <laughs> That's not the intent. I just think it's extremely important for you to go have someone uh, to go through this process with. So you can see that there are a few prompts here where you uh, exchange ideas with your uh, research partner. All right. So uh, I don't, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, Renee and Josh, uh, you are working together. In fact, you're the only group uh, of two. Everyone else is working individually. So um, you guys will need to find someone else to work with. And then Josh, you will uh, uh, communicate with that person and Renee, you'll communicate with that person individually. So uh, you won't communicate uh, kind of as a group. Uh, and I may even just, uh, uh, I don't know how it's gonna work yet. I may even uh, just pair you up with uh, with two people, uh, Josh, you with one, and Renee, uh, you with one. That actually seems to make more sense uh, now that I think about it. So. Uh, we'll probably proceed that way. Um, everything else in uh, <clears throat> in the class is uh, as you would expect. Um, Six nine nine seven is a challenging uh, uh, class, primarily because of this lesson number two. Uh, writing the lit review is just a royal pain in the tail, uh, but uh, we will get through it together. All right, it's an important part. Uh, uh, embedding your research into uh, what what's previous previously been done in your uh, area broadly defined is an important part of the uh, uh, of the process. Um, I guess that's it. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, Blackboard class. Oh, I will tell you good news. Uh, I have a new inter internet service. Uh, back in November, my service with T-Mobile. Uh, I probably shouldn't call them out, but uh, <clears throat> got where there were days that I was downloading at uh, speeds of one to two. Uh, there were days I could barely check email, and I sure I really struggled if I had an attachment to send an email. I couldn't do it. Um, but uh, Verizon just, um, uh, yay, go Verizon, uh, just set a tower about five miles from where I live, and I'm running uh, 50 to 52 down consistently, so. Cutting ties with DirecTV, I'm just in, in seventh heaven here uh, because I uh, can stream. I feel like a I feel like a real person. I feel like I've arrived. 
So anyway, the point is, if we need to set up a Blackboard Collaborate session, uh, I now can do that, or I should be able to do that. Uh, gang, that's all I got. Uh, uh, reach out if you need me, and uh, do your best to get things submitted uh, on time, and be, be uh, proactive. All right, well, hope you have a wonderful semester, and uh, have a great week.